There's more to Minocqua than just the resorts. You'll find a lot of shopping and plenty of good restaurants, too. Angela Kelly stopped at the Minocqua Brewing Company for a bite to eat during her visit a few weeks ago. Hey guys, we stopped for lunch here at the Manaqua Brewing Company and uh, wow, it really seems like it has a lot to offer. While I'm waiting for my lunch, I thought I'd chit chat with owner uh, Selena White. Hey Selena. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. So for people who've never been here, how would you describe it? What's the layout here? We have something for everyone here. You walk in, we have a bar. We also have pub tables that you're welcome to dine at. Um, you walk through the building, we have a lower dining area that has a very cozy fireplace that accommodates um, larger groups for the summer. And then you walk up to our porch, we have a beautiful view of Lake Minocqua. The seating up there is for two to four people. It's very intimate and quiet, kind of like the Northwoods. And then you're also welcome, if the weather permitting, to sit outside in our wonderful beer garden that also has like, a view of Lake Minocqua and gives you some fresh air. Wow, that sounds so nice. So, you know, people come to a restaurant, they want food. How would you describe your menu? Well, that also offers something for everyone here. We have a very eclectic menu. And let me tell you about some of our popular items. We have a beef carpaccio that's a ham seared tenderloin sliced very thin served with wasabi dressing and crostini as an appetizer. Um, we're well known for our wheat ale and smoked gouda cheese soup, which is our house beer cheese. Got to have beer cheese in Wisconsin. We have delicious salads that are the freshest greens. The one I have here today is a uh, Julius Caesar. It's a half of an avocado stuffed with our house made a chicken salad, lightly tossed in Caesar dressing. We also have um, the best burgers from what I hear around town. Everybody loves our burgers. The half pound Angus burger with the caramelized onions, smoked gouda cheese, and our house made barbecue sauce. And then we have a very delicious and very popular vegetarian sandwich. It's uh, called the Garden of Eden, and it has our house made artichoke spread, which you can also get as an appetizer. Um, served with roasted vegetables and then a balsamic reduction on top. Served open face like most of our sandwiches are. It's to die for. Okay, and th there's a reason this is called the Manaqua Brewing Company. You guys make your own beer here? We do. We make all of our beer upstairs. We serve only our own beer. We have something for everyone in that category as well. We have light as a wheat. We have ales. We have lagers. We also have brown and dark beer. Mm -hmm. And what's with this lounge that's upstairs? That just opened in December. It's a 21 and over lounge that features martinis, a really nice wine list. It's a comfortable place to just come and have a beverage. We also have hors d'oeuvres that are different from the downstairs that you can try with a menu that rotates quite frequently. Very nice. Well, looks like my lunch is here on the way. What do we got here? You ordered for me because you I recommend did. this. This is our beef and brie. This is one of our best sellers. It's a beef tender, or I'm sorry, it's a beef with um, Wisconsin brie cheese, sautéed onions, and then sweet potato fries with our delicious house-made lemon ginger aioli. Oh, oh that looks I think you'll so love good. It. And the beer, what's this? We're featuring this today with our brown ale. It's a bare naked brown ale, very crisp and clean with a little bit of a nutty finish. Mm, I think it's time to dig in. Have a sweet potato fry here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Delicious. See you later.